This is News to Amuse. I'm Glenn Hansen. We begin today's News to Amuse with this story from Chicago's O'Hare Airport. A man was arrested at Chicago's O'Hare Airport for trespassing after allegedly living in the airport for three months. Aditya Singh was charged with felony criminal trespass after he was found in a restricted area of the airport. Singh, who was from California, told police he was afraid to fly because of the coronavirus pandemic. And just how did he get by for three months undiscovered? Well, here's what he did. He found an employee ID badge that gave him access to all the areas of the airport, and other passengers in the airport gave him food. The judge who sentenced Singh was not amused, but I am. You see, anybody who's been to O'Hare can tell you it is not a very friendly place. So in my humble opinion, anybody that can stick it to the security system at O'Hare Airport deserves an award, not a fine. Come fly Chicago's hometown airline. Come fly the friendly skies. Next, we head to Vietnam for this story that will certainly grab your attention. Authorities in the southern Binh Duong province of Vietnam raided a facility selling recycled condoms. At the crime scene, police found over 320,000 washed and dried used condoms. Of course, people were arrested and all the used condoms were confiscated by the police. But what did they do with them? I think we'd all agree that that's taking recycling a bit too far. Good morning, Vietnam! And we end today's news to amuse with this story from Vermont. A house for sale in Guildhall, Vermont, includes seven jail cells that formerly served as the Essex County Jail until 1969. The home has four bedrooms and two bathrooms and seven jail cells with windows that are barred. And by today's standards, the house is pretty cheap, only $149,000. And just right for the mom and dad that have seven kids and an interesting sense of humor. Now, I know none of you likes the idea of being incarcerated. The idea does scare you a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, and we don't even know what it means. And that's News to Amuse. News to Amuse is produced by Don Ludden. 